My name is Robin Casali and I resided at Framingham for 14 years. I want to thank you for all for allowing me the opportunity to express why I feel building a new prison is not a good idea. The cultural toxin, toxicity, toxicity that presides and resides at Framingham is far more detrimental than the poorly maintained prison that is Framingham. Yes, Framingham can use some repairs structurally, but the need is not imminent. What is needed imminently is accountability for starters. We are a small community, whether we like it or not, and those who govern over us have an obligation over our safety since they have control over us. As incarcerated individuals, we have taken accountability or at, le at the very least are being held accountable for our misdeed. That is our retribution once we are sentenced and then follows rehabilitation upon entering prison. In theory, I say in theory because there is nothing being offered in way of programs at Framingham, not even AA or NA. Which is, a, which is as basic as far as programs are concerned. There are no trades being offered other than culinary and nothing available in the way of restorative justice to incarcerated individuals to move forward. Even more pressing is the dire need for proper medical care. I have personally witnessed horrible tragedies that could have been prevented with medical intervention. Those tragedies have only increased in recent years because no one has held these various insurance companies accountable. Human lives should not be discarded or even disregarded by people who have taken oaths and in this case have signed contracts to do otherwise. Women who have been here for years and have aged poorly due to terrible mattresses, processed foods, and in general poor living conditions are not getting most of their medical needs met. That is heartbreaking, especially in a state that has less women prisoners than any other state in the country. This is a fact, just like it is a fact that the food we women are served on the daily is inexcusable. To start with, the food is negligible, and even worse, it is poorly prepared to be kind. I say to be kind since you will see, if you care to investigate, that it is not only unsanitary in our central kitchen, but our food is con constantly mishandled by the vendors that are contracted. These are but a few of the many inadequacies we are faced with day after day. Do you truly believe building a new prison should take precedence over major issues? Think about how far 50 million can go into alleviating these real issues. Why waste 50 million and continue to face problems that will eventually expand into society when the women here now will become part of society later? Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Robin. Uh, any questions from the committee? Seeing none, thank you very much for your testimony. Next. Jessica D. 